Hi everybody, you're warmly welcome back to the Royal Kingdom Estate Platforms. We are always coming here to give you updates across all of our developments. For the past few months, we've been hammering on Grey City simply because Phase 3 sold out and we're currently selling at Phase 4. So we had to give you all of the details with that development. And then recently, we veered to The View to also take some updates from there. And today, we've made our way to Black Star Village to once again share what is going on here how the scene is and everything that the development has to offer i'm joined once again by our director for marketing and innovations mr seth yamwa and fozia ibrahim who is our sales executive and we're here to share everything that is happening on here hello guys hi Ashwa. how are you doing doing very well i'm glad i can see can the I excitement for my boy <laughs> <laughs> It's written all over you. Oh, yes. This yes. is your first you time. You know, it's actually my first time yes, coming Black to Blackstar. Star and the whole feel mm. around here is, is, is something else. Yeah. It's very phenomenal. The wind, I don't know if, if you can't feel it, you but can't feel it. It's that is why I'm so happy. You, you, you can see from my expression that I'm very happy. Exactly. I really love the place. Yeah. I'll say that's my favorite. Okay. Oh, <laughs> God, you have to share the favorite every week. So I don't know every, if we can hold that. Yes, yes. For now, at the moment, okay. I love Black Star. All so right. let's keep it as such. Okay, Mr. Seth. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering if our audience can actually hear us right. clearly because of the breeze it's so windy yeah. yes it's it's amazing it's an it's such an amazing feeling and we've not been to black star regularly to show them what's happening here yeah. but today we are here just as we are the view the other time yeah. and again to um dispel that um you know idea that is are people even building here or it's, it's difficult to build on this kind of topography because black star has a similar topography to that of the view yeah right, right? and if you look behind us it's so amazing what's right. behind us this is so beautiful you see the lush vegetation you see the greenery it's it's beautiful and like we've said before that we believe that in times so old our forefathers were living in communities like yeah, these yes. and you know they embrace nature they embrace nature it's also one of the reasons why we have maintained in all our videos and all our communications that we are not going to get rid of the greenery right. we are not going to develop a concrete jungle, jungle as yeah. some people think uh, you know a lot of developers do that yeah we are not going to do that we create solutions we don't we don't just sell product right. and these these solutions are curated they are user friendly quote yeah. and unquote yeah. um it is what our clients want that uh, we we bring out the solutions for so yes this is black star village mm -hmm. we are here today and it's lovely yes guys i just want to say one thing like it's very bright it's not hot yeah but it's bright and the, the the air is a bit chilly so you're getting like some mixed feeling i don't i don't even know how to describe it but it's simply amazing. yeah that's why we you know when you coming from the diaspora yeah you don't want a, a huge <laughs> change of environment yeah, right. i mean yeah change of environment maybe for some calm and all that but in terms of the weather yeah this is not so different exactly. right because it, it, it's bright but it's not hot exactly yeah you are feeling the breeze it's it's just you know it's so amazing Can i ask do we have any sea around here because the breeze is just no giving a whole different vibe this is nature you know oh. this is this is nature like trees. yeah this is this is oh. nature and now talking about we are actually standing on someone's a client's property, a client's project. Right. this is about one acre for so yeah one acre and this person is doing about five bedrooms mm -hmm. and you know this is the usual strip foundation yeah. as engineer desmond had uh, explained to us earlier just the usual strip foundation so nothing extraordinary when it comes to the foundation but the fact that someone is building here tells you that the communities are developing right yeah. and that is why we encourage we i think we have a lot of 
people that have already purchased exactly. a Black yeah. Star Village. Yeah. And oftentimes, there's something that you've been saying. Oftentimes, some people are waiting for, oh, who build their house mm -hmm. first? Who build? You, you do that, it gets to a point when you start building, you'll be the only one who is exactly. Building. Everybody will be mad at you because you're disturbing, <laughs> you're disturbing the, the whole community, you know. And time also passes by so fast. Yeah. We want our clients not to forget the 24 month mm -hmm. duration or window mm -hmm. to commence development. So, assuming this person had done just the fence wall, mm -hmm. that would have qualified as a development. Right. Assuming the person has, I mean, where we are now, the foundation, foundation is also a development. Yeah. So, we are not saying that have everything in place mm -hmm. before you start something just commence maybe even your fence wall right. because it all adds to the value of the of the development or the location it yeah. adds to the value of it so we encourage clients to to come on board and you know start something is very very important yeah. um i think that you may introduce a subject of the name black star or you know so i, I just leave that to you exactly too. now this is black star village we are all looking at you know being in a community that signifies something as Ghanaians, one of our forefronts is our identity yeah. we come from somewhere we belong to a culture our food our dressing the way we talk everything speaks to who we are as a people so when we say black star village what is the black star if you look at the ghana flag we have the black star in there yeah. and that's the heart the soul of us Ghanaians. So if you want to experience the culture, be a part of you know the Ghanaian heritage, I would definitely say that this is the place to be. Because imagine if all developments are done, if you see the entrance right there, so beautiful, you come in, come to your home, meet people, like-minded people, people that you can relate with, you know, build a future together as a community. This is all we're trying to achieve. Wow. basically and that's how come we have black star village you know it's such a surreal feeling when you're coming to black star and you see the gates yeah and you see black star yes you know when you can you remember my reaction yes right? yes 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 <laughs> yes you know oh, when because oh, the moments so we got up we just returned and for the so black star village she was like oh yeah, you know exactly. it's a and i like the father you mentioned that the heritage yes the african heritage you know we are all coming from somewhere right. we have a lot of people in the diaspora these days they are doing their um they are conducting the is it a dna yeah, search yeah, to trace yeah. their ancestral their roots, yeah. roots and all that is beautiful we have people coming back home and yes pan-africanism is very very important is our heritage and uh, i like to quickly ask for us yeah we're naming the street mm -hmm. after some prominent um africans who and who would you opt for let's say mm -hmm. five you know you know particular order five yeah coming from I'll say, there. <laughs> <laughs> so i'll say nelson mandela okay. so Kwame from is not number one <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So yeah. Come and Chroma will yeah. actually follow. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, so you have two now, okay? Mandela. Mandela is one. Yeah, he, okay. she mentioned Mandela. Okay, okay. Mandela Kwame Chroma. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember their name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deport you. Marcus we'll deport you. But yeah, you know Marcus Garvey, yeah. Martin Luther King. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> You can Yasantua. Yasantua, right? Yasantua. You know, we have we have amazing uh people, not just Ghanaians, but yeah. you know, African diaspora yeah. roots people that have have um been at the forefront of yeah. the fight for independence, sure. have been at the forefront for the fight of the abolishment of some things that we're not we're not comfortable with. Yeah. So it's beautiful that you know um all these people we can leave it they've left legacies right. and we want to be sure that their legacy lives on yeah. regardless wherever in the world and one of the amazing things at black star village like the name connotes is that we have named some of the streets um wow. after in fact we've named the street after some of these people yeah right yeah. we've named the streets of some of the people so Kwame Nkrumah, Marcus Garvey, yeah. wow. Martin Luther King, you have Mandela, Mandela. Okay. <laughs> you really love Mandela, yeah. <laughs> Mandela you know and even in Ghana the I think Ephraim Moose and oh, all wow. these people okay. Salome uh, Theodosia, Salome Kwe, exactly. all these people so it's it's, it's beautiful mm -hmm. It's beautiful that you can come into a community and you are with your roots. Exactly. You are with like-minded people. And you know, when, when there's that um, oneness, 
when there's that solidarity it's easy for development to just you know yeah uh, it, 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 you, you flourish in such it's such a community yeah. because you uphold the same principles mm -hmm. you uphold the same values yeah. and this is what development is all about this is what the kind of real estate that we are looking at is not one that just puts up houses mm -hmm. yeah you know we go beyond that we go beyond just the buildings we are looking at values yeah. we are looking at principles mm -hmm. and when we talk about development we are looking at the, the holistic development right. that is what we are looking at it's like taking a child to school mm -hmm. it's not just about memorizing and um, writing the yeah. answers education is is bigger than just learning yeah. you are developing the holistic mental capacity of a child yeah. so the way they behave mm -hmm. involves grooming yeah. you know grooming how they talk how they yeah. walk That's and yeah, also right. devel develop their mind to the point where they can make certain decisions for themselves responsibly right. you know stemming from the knowledge they've acquired yeah. so all these things are important and you know the growth of the the, the brain is very um, important or the determinant of the the, the capacity as which the brain will function right. is really really important during the early stages mm -hmm. of the initial stages you know so and that that is what holistic education is about and that's what we're also looking at when it comes to holistic development it's not just about building it's about developing a group of people mm. upholding certain principles right. upholding certain values yeah. you know shaping the the, the society mm. all these things are very very important yeah. that is why we we came up with the concept of black star exactly. village exactly. and yeah. i i think that our people watching us i'm sure you would resonate with this concept very yes. very well yeah. i know a lot of you are looking at relocating a lot okay. of you are looking at coming down you know blaster village is here for you yeah. this is your place perfectly said and just to add a little bit on the fact that you're talking about education we have clients from all parts of the world right. everywhere like we have from the u.s from we have asian clients from everywhere jamaica yes. jamaica yes you know yeah. so in fact i love the jamaicans you know? <laughs> yeah when you come <laughs> when you our come our brothers and our cousins yeah well. and it's, it's it's very interesting that every jamaican we've had interactions with yeah. they speak highly of how similar ghana it's is to jamaica, jamaica right. exactly. yeah all of them seem to say the same mm -hmm. thing and i can't wait for the jamaican uh, alliance group <laughs> it the jamaican so confederation yeah so so so, so yeah, yeah 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 yes. so basically we've taken the initiative to you know go beyond and then have some of these street namings because imagine if you've never heard of ghana somebody right told you about getting a plot here and then you get it and then one day you're driving home you live on let's say nelson mandela street oh, it yeah. will prompt you okay first and foremost who is nelson mm, mandela yes. like who is this person that i'm, I'm living on their street yeah. so it's also an extra step to further educate you know and that's what we're about as a company and also for the fact that this is one acre so those of you that feel like okay how many acres can i buy how many plots can i buy if you want 500 acres we will get it for you <laughs> it's not a problem at all whatever you want to buy come in let's have the conversation and we're always available to sell to you and make sure that your acquisition process or your property dreams are realized yes also important to note that black star village is very close to the view mm -hmm. it's just a few minutes drive yeah. to the view five to seven minutes you should be there mm -hmm. and also some of the amenities that we've already showcased or shown to the audience in yeah. the videos like the schools mm -hmm. uh, uh, medical facilities the the the, the, the um the food markets yeah, as well exactly. yeah the police stations we would have to um, show them how close they are yeah. to black star as well okay. because we have one just before you turn to the road to the yeah. view okay. there's one there okay. there's the Kitasi, Kitasi one yeah, there's right. the one at obudan there's one at um and so on yeah. so when it comes to security you are also yeah you are, you're safe you're yeah. sorted out and we are going to have internal security once you know development is um, far advanced to a certain stage yeah. so we have everything in place like we always say we, we are sending you to places where there are enough facilities that are supposed to cater for your well-being and yeah. essentials for living they are they are available all these things are around yeah. and even the ones that are not around will come into you know uh tete -tete with the homeowners yeah. we we'll make sure all these things are brought into the community so exactly. yeah this is the place to be this is black star village mm -hmm. this is the place to be for you wonderful so come in come and build electricity is coming water is coming fozia if you had a plot here what would you build Hmm. <laughs> a huge mansion. <laughs> on huge. A huge mansion. Okay. You know, having this view. This view yeah. 
Yeah. You'd have the best. You can never day. imagine. Let's leave it for another day. <laughs> you didn't yes. mention the swimming pool today. You always talk about it. <laughs> so this one, I had the swimming pool on. Oh, at the top. My okay, yes, okay. on the building. Interesting. Okay. I just, I just want to have a feel of everything. I right. hope you're gonna see this <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> guys there you have it this has been such an amazing um video we hope you've enjoyed it just as much as we have you know making the journey here to come and give you the necessary updates so this is black star village we're currently at a price point of 160 thousand ghana city so come in purchase and then put up your property our developments are still there we have the view 200 000 ghana cities and in gray city phase 4 90 000 ghana cities join us in the prime locations you can come in at the future located at East Airport or the African Renaissance Tower located at Osu. Give us a call across all of our contact channels and we'll have the conversation to provide you with the services you require. For those of you that are looking to you know put up businesses we have commercial plots at Grey City Phase 1 available for sale 150,000 Ghana cities per plot but these plots are sold in pairs so you can come in and then purchase that. Some of you have been crying for so long that you'd want to be a part of the phase one and then phase two development or community so i'm happy to let you know that we have plots selling there currently at as well at a price point of 130 thousand right. ghana cities for you that want your home already built ready to move in gray city prime homes is for you so just contact us and then we'll give you all the information you need all right so and i think we also want to take um, advantage of this video to congratulate the whole of Ghana right. um, on our peaceful elections. We've always been, you know, when it comes to elections and the stability, political stability mm. after elections, we've Ghana has always been the hallmark right. in Africa and even the world at large. Mm. We, I think we've really, really done well mm. uh, under the Fourth Republic. Every time we've gone to the polls, mm. we come out victorious. And this is a, a clear message to the investors out there if you're looking for a country to invest in you know one of the major key things to look out for when you're going to invest in a country is a political stability yeah. because political instability can really disrupt and interrupt your business plans yeah. so Ghana is one of the safest places to invest you know when it comes to um, um, the factors to look out for yeah. social cohesion is in place our diplomatic relations are in place mm -hmm. political stability is in place everything that you need to have a sound business running, we have it here. So come and buy lots of, lots of, lots of acres of land, establish your businesses here, because this is the place to be. So are you equal to all of Ghanaians, Ghanaians yes. home and abroad, mm -hmm. and we thank God for peaceful elections. elections exactly. Yeah. We hope that from next year going, the real estate market in Ghana will see amazing upscales and the yeah. market will continue yeah. to expand yeah yes exactly so guys like the video subscribe share it and you know that we'll always come back to give you more amazing updates like these stay tuned peace out <laughs>